Hey guys, what's up? I'm Chris, and this is our How to Tie a Tie video series, where I'll teach you how to tie a necktie. In this video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to tie the double Windsor or full Windsor knot. Out of all the knots, the double Windsor is one of the most popular. Begin the double Windsor by bringing the wide end of the tie over the narrow end, and then bring the wide end back up through the loop made by your neck and around the narrow end of the tie. After you have that, bring the wide end underneath the tie, and then bring the wide end up and down through the loop made by your neck. At this point, you'll wanna um, pull on the wide end and get the base of the knot tight, and you'll wanna make sure to make any necessary adjustments um, so that there are no bunches in the base of the knot. After you're satisfied with that, you can bring the wide end over the front of the tie while maintaining a bridge with your two fingers. And then you'll bring the wide end of the tie up through the loop made by your neck, and then down through the loop that you're maintaining with your two fingers and then pull it snug. At this point, you'll want to make sure to make little adjustments to make sure that the knot's not bunching. Um, and then after that, you can pull on the narrow end of the tie and then cinch the knot up to your neck. As you can see, the double Windsor produces a nice, wide, symmetrical, triangular knot. Because of the knot's width, it works best with a spread collar. And then as far as the length of the tie is concerned, it should just reach the top of your belt. Also, you can use your pointer finger to make a nice dimple and then give it a little snug to make the dimple stay in place. To see the other knots in this video series, be sure to click the link in the bottom right hand corner of your screen.